Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have Toy City's Laura again, and this is the Fashion Trendsetter set. I previously unboxed Laura the Charm of Faded Hues, and I loved Laura figures ever since then. So without further ado, let's dive in and see how these figures look like in real life. Here we have the box. It's a pink and purple marble design, and the one in front is called You Pool Overload. I think she's a pretty cool character. She's holding onto a skateboard. So turning over, we have 12 basic figures as always, and we have a secret. The secret is called Gravity Bombing, and she's actually a pink figure wearing a cat gas helmet. I assume, yeah, and it's attached to this cat-shaped canister at her back. And she looks kind of cute, but I wouldn't mind not getting her. I think the basic set looks pretty good together, like the colors are pretty cohesive, so let's see what we'll get today. Box number one. Right, Laura opens up from the other side. We have the rose gold foil again. So first figure of the day is called Street Artist. And this is the cart. The cart this time looks really cool. Comes with a lot of parts. Looks like a keychain as well. I love her hair color. Look at her. I like this blue hat that she's wearing and she has a big exclamation mark that's coming out of her headband. Is she a street basker? I mean, she's holding a guitar and she's called a street artist. I like her skirt, her hot pink skirt. Let's turn her over. Oh, her hair color is so nice. It's a nice pastel blue. She's holding a rock guitar in the shape of a star. Her leg says, Laura Girl. And right in the middle of her shirt, it says LR, which I believe stands for Laura. One thing I really like about Laura is her eyes. Her eyes are so pretty. Look at it. I love Laura's. That's our first figure in box number two. The second figure we got is called Show Buyer. This is the card. I'm guessing this Laura likes to go shopping? She's dressed up quite fashionably. I like her checkered jacket. She's wearing a brown dress. That kind of matches her shoes. I like the red beret that she's wearing. It's fuzzy. It matches her hair. Ooh, her hair is a nice color. It's this pink to sort of coral orange gradient. She's carrying a mini bag and this bag is actually detachable. We have a tiny tiny detail on the bag. It says LA which stands for Laura. Oh her glasses are a little bit slanted. Not sure if I can get it to be straight. Oh that's alright. Box number three. Figure 3 is called Discipline Member. And this is the card. She always gives me prefect vibes. Or at least someone in class that holds a leadership position. She looks like she's wearing a school uniform. She has uneven socks and she's wearing this cute beret on her hair. I wonder if that's part of her school uniform. I like her ash grey, ash brown hair. Pigtails are very cute. And I think my camera can't really catch it very well, but her armband actually says Laura. So I think that's quite a cute design. Look at her eyes. Laura's eyes are so pretty. And all Laura's come with the same black stand. It just has different words on the front. So this one just says Fashion Trendsetter Laura. Yep, there we go. Fashion Trendsetter. So that's our third figurine. Box number four. Fun fact, I got this box, I got a set from a reseller for a really, really good deal. Like, I, I couldn't reject the deal because it was so good. So, 
That's kind of how I ended up with this set. This is one of my favorite ones from this set. It's called Ido. This is the card. Her hair is very similar to this one that we got just now, Street Artist. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of their hair. I prefer the Street Artist hair though. So we have Idol. Look at her headphones. Blue and purple ombre. She has three butterflies on her hair. I like the light pink cardigan that she's wearing. And this blue and purple dress that she's wearing it matches her headphones. Turning her over, she has a huge golden bowl right behind her. She really looks like an idol to me. So that's our fourth one, box number five. I'm sorry if I sound really tired. I'm filming this really late in the night. So I might sound a little bit more lethargic than usual. We have the one on the box friend. This is called You Pool Overload. I like her hair color. This blue to. It's kind of like light blue, light purplish to dark blue. Dark purplish? I guess it's more purple than blue. And she's holding a skateboard. She's also wearing knee guards. I think that's quite an interesting detail. Safety first, guys. Wearing knee guards is important. I like the smelly face on her belt. Her eyes are so pretty. Let's turn her over. This is how she looks like on the back. I have to be honest, her hair looks like a ball of yarn. Is it just me? It looks like a ball of yarn, right? So that is our fifth figurine. Box six, almost halfway done. You know what this reminds me of, this pair of eyes? Great Gatsby. One of the book covers have sort of the same idea where they just show a pair of eyes. It really reminds me of that book cover. If I can find a photo, I'll probably attach it to the video, but yes. For those of you guys who know what I'm talking about, good job. And I'm in school. I really love Great Gatsby. Figure number six is called Hip Hop Diva. And this is the card. Definitely dancer vibes. Look at her dressings. Awesome shades of purple. Look at her hair. It's pink highlights. It's bundled up into a lot of braids at the back. Oh my goodness. It's gonna take long to tie these. Her pink crop top. She's wearing slit pants. Very detailed. Look at her earrings. Oh my goodness. They're big. I resonate with this figure a lot because I used to be a dancer. I no longer dance anymore, but yes, I once used to be a dancer, so this Laura really resonates with me a lot. Box number seven. The colors are so nice for this one. She's called Street Snap Maniac. And this is her card. Her dress is giving me mermaid vibes. Look, it's scaly. It's pink to blue, gradient. She's carrying a bag that says Laura on the side. I love her pink hair. Look at this huge bow right on top. It really fits her entire color scheme. What's this coming out? In front, it looks like a tail, like a bushy tail. I'm not sure what's going on. She's wearing a blue bracelet, looks very cute. Look at her eyes, her eyes with peacocks. So pretty. When I took this out of the foil and I saw pink hair, I thought it was the secret, but it's not, so I give myself a shock. But yes, this is our seventh figurine. Box number eight. Whoa! Stan is stuck! <laughs> this is one of my favorites as well. She's called Fashion Editor. And this is her card. She's dressed in all white, including her hair. 
and her hair is pearlescent. It's so pretty. I'm not sure if my camera is catching it. There we go, pearlescent. So pretty. She has an awesome white dress. Turning her over, she has awesome sunglasses. They're purple and it matches her eyes. Too bad we can't really see her eyes properly. It's, she's holding a book, magazine, that says Laura. And since she's a fashion editor, perhaps she coordinated all the other outfits. Maybe. Box number nine. Figure number nine is called Graffiti Master. And this is her card. I like her gas mask. I'm quite sad it's not magnetic, so we can't see Laura's full face. I like her hair. Ooh, it looks like yarn again. I like the hair color. Her cap, hat, thingy, looks like a police hat for some reason. And her earring says T and C, but I'm not sure why. She's wearing an oversized hoodie that says Laura on the front and she's holding a spray can on her left hand. Turning her over, this is how she looks like on the back. That's our ninth figurine. Box 10. We are almost done. We have Longboard Queen, and this is the card. I like her colors as well. I think the last few we unboxed have pretty similar color schemes. She has a nice hair color. It's blue and yellow. It's quite a weird combination with a little bit of green on the front. Oh, she has a plaster on her nose. Oh my goodness, did she fall longboarding or something? She's wearing a pink crop top with blue shorts. She's wearing mismatched socks as well. <laughs> one's green, one's yellow, that's quite funny. And I love her boots. Look at it, it's this pink and yellow combination. Reminds me of pink lemonade for some reason. She's holding a huge longboard that says Laura. Fun fact, I actually roller skate, but I can never for my life learn how to longboard. I know they both have wheels, but I'm just so scared of longboarding or skateboarding. They just feel so scary and so unstable. I can I can never learn them, so that's just a, a funny side of me, I guess. So that's our 10th figurine. Alright, second last box. Box 11. We're almost there. She's so cute! She's called Sweetheart of Cyber. I love her colors! Oh my goodness. This is the nicest shade of pink and blue together. Like her headband. Oh, it's not her headband, it's... <gasps> she has two little buns on her hair and it's in the shape of a heart. And her hair is nice ombre again, pink to go to yellow gradient. Look at her, she's holding a selfie stick. Maybe she's an influencer. And look at her cardigan, it's fuzzy. That's so cute. And I believe quite a few of them have the same eye color. Yeah, I'm looking at the figurines right beside me now, and quite a few of them have this nice combination of blue, green, and yellow for their eyes. That's so awesome. That is our figurine number 11. Okay, box 12, last one. Opening full cases are tiring. It's like a marathon. A last figurine, figurine number 12, is called Photographer. This is the card. She's actually pretty cool. Let me zoom in a little bit before I talk about the cool part. So let's turn her around. <gasps> she has light bulbs for her hair. How cute is that, right? That's so cool. I really like these kind of small details on figurines. I think they make it look so much better. Let's turn her over again. So she has red eyes this time. Her eyes are matching her hair and her outfit. And she's wearing a well, sort of like a dress with tights. 
is holding a little camera, so I'm assuming she will be taking photographs of all the other Loras today. It's quite fitting we unboxed her last because she's sort of like the one that will document all of their outfits today. So I think it's quite cool that we got her last. And on top it says TC again, which I have no idea what it means. So yes, that is our last figurine. And this is how all the figurines look like together. I really like the color combinations of this set. So definitely no regrets getting the full series. And I'm also sorry if I sounded really listless or lethargic in this video. I just ended a long work day so I just wanted to unbox something to make myself a little bit happier. But thank you all for joining me in this unboxing either way. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!